Welcome to another episode of Laundromat Life. Last night, someone decided to crash into my vacuum, which is odd because it's kind of a weird angle to even hit it at. And this is no joke. This is uh, two 240 volt vacuum pumps up here. There's a lot of voltage that comes through here. So before I even start diagnosing something like this, I shut the breaker off to make sure I don't get zapped. I check the shell. It's all metal, right? You gotta be careful. If you expose a hotline down here and it touches that metal, this whole thing could become uh, charged, right? And then uh, hopefully it'll kick a, a short and turn the breaker off, but it wasn't off. So that usually means that it didn't break, which is good, but you wanna be sure just in case. So I'm gonna go check my surveillance footage and find out exactly what happened here. <sighs> what an idiot. The guy goes to use the vacuum crashes into the vacuum at the perfect angle to miss the security bar and then just takes off. High voltage, could have just called me. No big deal. Idiots. Little jobs always turn into big jobs. So this is held on by two screws that kind of slide and twist into place. But really what you want to do is cinch them down and lock them. So I was able to pop it out and release the electrical on it. So now we've got a little wiggle room and we're just going to try and reach in with a socket. But of course the socket we have is a half an inch short. So we're, we're getting it. All right, we got the awesome call oh. at 7 a.m. today to go help someone with a quarter jam on a change machine. And out here at our new laundromat, we only have one machine. And we've had it serviced twice. So now, after waiting three months, we have a backup. And this buddy here mounts inside the laundry. So there's one there, and that'll be the backup now. We'll just keep like 10 bucks in it. And then this one is gonna go somewhere in here. I'm guessing probably right there, but we'll see once we get in there. And uh, the bill feed has to be at 48 or less inches for ADA compliance. And then we got to hook power up to it and then mount it with this angle iron so that if anybody tries to get into it, they're going to be in for the fight of their life. And uh, hopefully they do more damage to their tools than they do to our equipment trying to get it out. So that's today's project.
All right, well, for the sake of security, I decided to not finish filming the final install so that no one knows exactly how and what kind of bolts I use to secure this thing. But I am willing to show this. The angle iron's in, all the bolts are in, and uh, we're ready to do the first test of the brand new maker. And I wired everything up correctly, I added some quarters, uh, so it should work, in theory. And there you go. Look at that, no out of service. The blue lights flickering. All right, let's give it a shot. Look at that. Yeah, we did get a bad one. Those got to go out of circulation. But that's it. That's the install. Not too difficult. You just got to have the right material. And now we have a backup change maker. So high excitement and a little cleanup to do. Today I thought, you know what? I got a bunch of little maintenance to do. The storm's here. Can't do anything major. So let's just do machine maintenance and fix some small washer dryer problems. Then one of my customers decided to wash a whole cat and four washers. Probably a whole cat. They had animal feces and hair and just disgusting waste. So, this whole row is down. We need. And this row. We need a, like a quarter inch draw. If we, this has. See this? We disconnect this, disconnect that, disconnect that. Just pull them out. This thing will lift up and we shove a thing down there. Well, okay, yes, that's what I'm thinking too. And then that's where it's clogged, somewhere right there. We can see down. The but, okay, I'll show you when you get out. The problem with his plan, which you'll see in a moment, is that this right here is pinching the whole drain down. But, <clears throat> yeah, so I came into the laundromat and all those big washes in the back were full of water, which is not good because when they're off, the drains automatically open. Well, they weren't open. So, let me show you. Luckily, I have a little clean out cap here. And all the washers on this back side drain into this. So you'll see in just a moment what this looks like. Fair warning, this is gonna be gross. I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright, so, I mean, it should be clear down that pipe. Yeah. Yeah, see, we, uh, we just have to disconnect this thing. Alright, so let's see. Holy shit. Yeah. It's totally clogged. All right. Oh, how did this even work? Ugh. What? Was it backing up into the airline or something? Oh my god. You got a lot more shit in there. Oh. You feel more stuff in there? Ugh. I mean, if you had a four inch ball hose on, it'd probably clear it right out. If not, this thing will. Well, it's clear now. Oh, man. This is clear. It's clear? Yeah, it was just this, that rag. Yeah, Somehow a rag. To, that's enough to do it. A rag got in there. Yep. So, I mean, when you get a, uh, two or three of these machines dumping their water, it ain't, it's going to be real slow. The other thing is this pipe is now a two inch pipe. Oh man. Still clogged down there? It's just, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's like sand and mud and clay and oils and detergent. It's just, uh, I'm afraid to do that. Let's take this guy. Shall we take a hose and yeah. shove it in there? Yeah, that was it. All right. I'm ready, I'm ready. Alright, come on. Come on, turn it on. Oh, 
Oh. You're closed? I'm holding it. Shut. You like going down? Oh yeah, it's draining. Let's just keep filling it up. I want to put a lot of water through it. You all right? All right, off, 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 off. That's too much. Is it backing off? <laughs> no. No, it's taking it all. All right. Let me see your face. Are you soaked? Nah. Oh, okay. So. Well, that was easy. So we got the cat. This is, this is what it was. Somehow that snuck, oh God, that is so gross. some kind of old rag or carpet or something. But it had got all the way down into the drain. We also pulled this out of the 60 pounder. A couple bank cards, credit cards. Thanks, Patrick. So now we gotta put it all back together and then fix that 40 pounder. So earlier in this video or last video, I was talking about this machine that kept kicking a belt. Well, I can finally get to it. Easy enough, you know. But uh, the problem is, that even though I can get to it, I still have to get behind this metal plate. And even then, I, I gotta work in there. So how do I bend that thing up? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna find out right now. Okay, so we can get behind the machine easy enough. The problem is, is that everything looks fine. Everything's not supposed to look fine. You're supposed to have a broken belt or a motor that's off balance or something. Let me show you. The well, bottom line is, is that that belt looks great. Everything rotates nicely, but what you can't see is right there. See that little adjustment screw? It's up about 3 eighths of an inch, so I can tighten it, but that spring is pretty tensioned. So I'm gonna make sure that spring is locked down right, tighten that tension up, and hopefully that just corrects the, I don't know, the uh, loose, loose belt. Let's see if I found the right wrench. No, of course not. Oh, you didn't get the right wrench, you dummy. Uh, let's see if I got the right wrench. Oh my god, I did. I did. I got the right wrench. I was talking trash. Alright, so I can I can I can work with this. All right, I am mostly cleaned up and we are done with that dirty job. People that want to own laundromats, when you have a main drain go down on an entire bay, one say one of your four bays goes down on a busy day, what are you gonna do, wait a week for a plumber? Wait three days for a plumber? You just gotta do it. And uh, luckily that wasn't a bad one. That was just pulling up the four inch main, disconnecting all the back drains, which were pretty easy because it was put together with rubber uh, what a flex conduit, a little rubber conduit, and it all kind of went back together pretty easily. Nice, it was nice having dad there, second hand, and uh, he's the one that has done that before me, so he was confident in what needed to be done. So, fortunately, we found it, and it was just a matter of putting everything back together, getting to it, and putting it back together was really the work. Uh, we got lucky on on the plug, but uh, anyway, I'm I'm tired, I'm filthy, I smell. I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs>